All right, so Black Friday. Uh, spent some money today and got a Honda inverter here, a 2000i. Uh, a couple things I do know uh, just off the top of my head about the Honda 2000i's, they also make one that's called a uh, inverter companion generator, and I believe those can be linked uh, or set up so that you can run them tandem together. Um, so instead of having two 20 amp outlets, you have like a, a 30 amp outlet that you can use. Um, what else about this? Um, they're not cheap. Uh, they do make a 1000 uh, inverter as well. Obviously the two is gonna be a little bit more. Um, price between the 100 and 2000, I think is about $100 difference. And then uh, the Companion is $100 more expensive as well. The 2000i Companion. So we'll do a quick unboxing of this thing and we'll see what it all has inside and we'll talk a little bit about Black Friday. Alright, so after opening up the box, there you can see there's the handle on the top of the generator and the fuel cap. Uh, the manual that was just laying on top there. So, a um, couple reasons I went with the Honda. Um, I don't think there's such such a thing as a bad Honda generator and these are these are pretty popular everywhere you go uh, you pretty much know what you're getting you know that it's gonna work you know that it's not gonna be loud um, and all those things it's a pretty reliable little setup they're pricey but you know what you're getting um, they did have a Generac model that was a 2000 watt inverter for $499 but it didn't have on the outside of the box what the actual actual decibel rating was, where this one does. So on the outside here it says, you know, 53 to 59 decibels. It only weighs 45 pounds, nine hours on a quarter load, which, uh, what is that, 500 watts. So, um, you know, they're pretty uh, open about how quiet it is, where the other one, I wasn't sure. Does it really matter? No, but I really don't know if that's a decent inverter for the price. And uh, I guess I just wasn't willing to be the guinea pig to experiment with the Generac inverter. Um, I just, I'm sick of messing around with stuff, trying to save money and then end up like having to buy what I should have just bought the first go around. So that's why I bought this. So uh, I'm gonna lift this thing out here and we'll get it set up on the workbench. All right, so here we go, we got it out. Um, I didn't read anything about this. I'm gonna assume it's shipped without oil. Um, there's probably like maybe a container somewhere under, uh, maybe under this panel or something. I don't know, what does it say here? Yeah, no oil in engine. So, um, probably don't wanna start it without oil in the engine. Wouldn't be a wise idea. Um, so this is what the front of it looks like. I've, like I said, I didn't do much research on uh, this particular model I just know that everybody has them and they seem to work pretty well so that's why I went with this um, this one I got from Northern Tool uh, I think they they had it advertised at $8.99 I thought somewhere it said you got a $50 gift card from them but I don't know the lady said not on Honda's everything else and then I thought Honda had some sort of a gift card or something you could or a mail-in rebate I, I don't know I haven't really looked into it maybe there is maybe there isn't I just know the other place that was offering a $100 gift card was uh, the asking price, or the selling price I should say, was $100 more. So I'm like, well, it's either I get $100 off and that's cash back in my pocket or get a gift card. I'm like, I hate gift cards. They seem like such a waste. So um, Black Friday, real quick rant here. Um, Black Friday's terrible. There was absolutely nothing in the stores that was, uh, First of all, stuff that we did look up online that was on store websites, again, again, maybe we should have read closely, but it wasn't in a store, it was like online only, which, okay, that's that's great, but then I'm not buying anything in your store. The stuff they did have in the store, it wasn't like, holy cow, this is really cheap, unless you're looking for a plastic drone that'll probably last one time, or a set of copper-colored frying pans. I don't know how many people we saw today picking up these copper frying pans and they're like, oh, it's copper. No, that's ceramic coated in the color of copper. I'm like, it is not copper, you people. Like, get a brain, it's not copper, but 
And there was tons of people walking out with those things. Like they had won some sort of prize by buying these copper colored ceramic pans. I don't know. And then like people, Black Friday, we stood in line at the one store for a half hour to check out. The guy in front of us bought a pair of blue jeans, like a generic brand, not even like a Levi. Generic brand of jeans. Uh, three uh, arrows for a bone arrow. And I don't know, it was like a pack of gum or some candy or something. I'm like, you stood in a line half hour to buy this. It wasn't anything that was like advertised either. So like the guy was just there to be there. I don't know, like seriously. So between the drones, the copper pans, what else was the big thing? Oh, TVs, everybody's got TVs. And those frying pans, those frying pans were all over the place. Like stores that never carry frying pans, oh, they all of a sudden have these as seen on TV copper frying pans. Yup, that's awesome. I, I don't understand it. So um, we didn't do too bad though. We got to double up on some coupons at the store and I think we got mostly everything taken care of for the kids in the way of toys. Um, it's just disappointing that some of the stuff wasn't in the store and we decided we were doing it all at one store this year I'm not gonna go all over the place so um, oh so if we look over here you can see they're not but on the bottom it says made in Thailand huh there's some other information as well frequency your phase voltage current so um, I'm gonna pull some some of these panels off and see what we got here. All right, so I got the side panel off. Doesn't look like it comes with any oil. I mean, I could check the box again, but uh, looks like I'm gonna be supplying my own oil for this. Not 100% sure either what this takes. It doesn't say anywhere. However, this back of this panel here would make a good spot to do some uh, raise it on with a sharpie just so you know how much it takes, what it is, that type of thing. So we do have these at work too and these seem to be pretty reliable. I, they don't do much maintenance on them and they seem to get abused. So, and they still work. I mean, as far as I know, they're probably used every day. I don't know. I don't use them myself, but that's the back of it there. So it looks like. So this is just gonna work so much better taking this out to uh, out to the woods than hauling the trailer with that giant 8,000 watt generator. This will just be easier, quieter, and this will have more than enough power to do what I need it to do. So and it'll probably come in handy. Who knows some other time? But this is. Only, what, what is it, 46 pounds? I can throw this in the back of the Xterra and just go. Actually, any car, you can just throw it in the back. So that's what's nice about it. So uh, other than that, I don't know. I'll have to go through the uh, owner's manual a little bit here and find out how much oil it takes. And then uh, I'll probably run and do some tests with it and that type of thing. Um, I did take the panel off on the other side. It's just to access the spark plug. So... Um, yeah, I don't know. So this is, I guess you could call this a Black Friday type thing. We bought it on Black Friday. I don't know. It wasn't like some really great deal. Um, I think normally the store carries it for $9.99. So I think it's pretty close to 1000 or so. But I don't know. These I've never seen these really go on sale. It seems like the Hondas are pretty much what they are is what they are. I might be able to get a, a gift card through the store or something or maybe Honda but you never get them much cheaper than that so uh, yeah other than that that's what it is um, I don't know I'm gonna have to wrap it up here I forgot to pick up my uh, copper my copper clad pans my frying pans I'm really missing out there and my uh, LED flat screen TV and my uh, plastic $19 drone that I'm gonna buy from a hardware store. Seriously? All right, that's enough, so here we go.